How's it going guys? So today's tutorial is going to show you a really easy way to make these really interesting nebulas. If you've never touched them or you've seen them in the Blender community and they seem kind of daunting, this is gonna be the easiest way if you're a beginner to make these nebulas. Now this project file you're seeing right now, it's available in the description for a dollar. Everybody on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. If you don't know about the Patreon, it's got tons of project files, exclusive tutorials, and I'm dropping a good bit of content here in the last week of December. So you can go check that out if you'd like, and let's get into how to make this. All right, so we're just gonna delete the light here and the camera here, we're gonna be working with this cube to make this. Now, for those of you following this in Eevee, I'll show you the settings really quickly. Now, everything I'm doing here shows in Cycles and Eevee, so I would recommend sort of designing it in Eevee and then previewing it in Cycles and then rendering it in Cycles, because Cycles just looks the absolute best. Eevee looks okay, um, but you'll have to play with some parameters to make it look better in the nodes, but for the most part, they'll both look really good. So for the Eevee users, you'll wanna go here to the Volumetrics tab and change it to about four. And then if you're gonna be rendering it in Eevee, once you're ready, change it to 2px here in your Eevee settings. But I'm gonna be switching over to Cycles to make this. So let's click on the cube. We're gonna go over here to the Shading tab and start working on this. So I'm gonna hit Z and go to the Cycles Render Preview here. And um, we're gonna start. So right down here, I'm gonna delete the default principled shader and we're gonna add in a volume so it's gonna be called principled volume. We're gonna add the volume here to the volume tab in the output. And now we get some volume. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a color ramp. We're gonna plug this color ramp into the emission strength. What we're gonna be making is an emission volume. So it's just gonna be emitting light and doing some really cool stuff. And with, with that, we're gonna add in a Voronoi. Voronoi node, plug the distance here into the color ramp and we're gonna add in a Musgrave. We're gonna add the factor to the vector. And now we can start seeing a little bit of things happening. Now, just to make sure that you have this in, go up here to edit preferences here to the add-ons, type in node. If you have the node, make sure you have the node Wrangler add-on selected. So whenever we click on the Musgrave texture, hit Control T, gives us this nice texture to set up and then change object here, do the object output. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the color ramp and crunch the black portion this way so we start seeing some really cool results here in the volumes. Now, I'm gonna go here to the world settings right up here and I'm gonna change the gray all the way down to black and then I'm gonna go ahead and get our camera. So set it up the way I want. I'm gonna hit control alt zero and I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. So now we have this as our view. This is pretty dark and we can't really bring it up higher with this color ramp. So we're gonna add a brightness node, get a brightness contrast node. So what we're gonna do is play around with this and we're gonna bring the brightness all the way up and then when we add the brightness, we need to we need to combat it with some contrast to make it much brighter. So bringing the brightness up and then offset it here with the contrast so that we get some much brighter volumes. Now I'm gonna bring the scale of the Musgrave up a little bit just to see how that's gonna look. All right, so now we have these weird looking blobs that don't look like nebulas or even gas clouds or things like that. So we're gonna go here to the vector side here and we're gonna add in a noise texture. Plug the noise texture right there and now we just get a jumbled pile of crap. Bring the detail all the way up. We need to add in a node to tell it how much of this noise texture to use. So we're gonna add in a mix RGB right here, plug that there and get this object node here and bring it all the way to color two. And so bring the factor all the way over and we're back to how we started. So what you wanna do is take this factor and just bring it over a little bit until it starts to look like the nebulas we're looking for. And now we're getting that really cool look that we're going for. Now let's color it. So let's take the, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a color ramp here, get the color ramp, plug the Voronoi texture here into the color ramp. I'm gonna pick the two colors I want. So I'm gonna go with a dark blue and a very light blue and plug this into the emission color. And now once we play with this and scrunch it up, we're gonna start getting some really cool results from this dark blue, light blue. I'm gonna bring up my brightness, bring up my contrast. And now we're getting some really cool gas cloud, nebula looking stuff here. And I'm gonna crank up that brightness and crank up that contrast so we can really get some cool renderings here. And then now what you can do is you can just play with the detail here on the Musgrave texture to give it more clouds, or you can go down and give it less bright clouds and play with the scale, bring it down, 
and playing with that give you, gives you endless results on this. Now for rendering, what I will do is, I'm just gonna go back, show you the render here. Now for rendering, I'm gonna go down here to the, uh, over here to the camera icon on the rendering, just change your render settings to 300 or 500 samples. Uh, it looks pretty good if you add some denoising. So we'll go over here to uh, denoising and add denoising here. If you if you know about the AI denoiser or if you don't know about it, look up some tutorials on the new AI denoiser here in Blender and then use that as well if you wanna make it look super clear. And then I would go say 300 samples and denoised and it'll look super, super cool. And yeah, that's how you do it. You go up here, render, render image, and it's done. So there you go, guys. It's an easy way to make some really interesting gas cloud looking nebula things. And yeah, thanks for watching.